Hello, I am Susan Reynard, Gauteng Editor of Hotel and Restaurant. We are the business to business brand in the hospitality industry. We write about hospitality, tourism across South Africa, Africa and internationally. We're taking a glimpse behind the scenes, down the corridors of a top hotel. We've chosen Hilton Santon, which has been around for 14 years. It is an icon in the Santon business node and appeals to both business and leisure travelers. So they are well versed in how to meet the needs of a variety of local and international guests. Come with us on this journey. It's a day in the life of a number of key departments across this hotel. Two of the most important departments in any hotel are housekeeping and maintenance. Staff work mostly behind the scenes, but they also interact with guests a great deal. And they are critical to making sure that the guest stay is as comfortable as possible. I think housekeeping is the most important part of the hotel, is the most important department. Because all the guests, when they come into the hotel, when they walk into their rooms, they want to go into clean, nice smelling rooms and comfortable rooms. The biggest challenges I've got is when I do turnarounds, cleaning of rooms. It takes about, run about 30 to 35 minutes. So sometimes, you know, the room is ups and down. Some of them, they are clean rooms. When you go into them, you don't take too long. And some of them, they are a mess. Uh, technology has changed my job a lot because I can find rooms on the system by myself. And if a reception needs some rooms, I know where to go to look for the rooms which are needed immediately. Now we've got new trolleys which looks much smaller and you can move around on the floors with them. Uh, we've got like a carpet cleaning machines now. We don't go on our knees anymore. The first impression what the guests get is when they look at their bed. If they are not impressed, they phone immediately and say, my room is not clean. On arrival sheet, when we see the regular, the regular guest name, we know what he needs of what she needs in a room. So when she arrives, she finds everything is already in the room for him or for her. There's a lot of trainings going on in the Hilton. We've got our training manager. We learn different things, how to manage guests, how to solve problems. Uh, the guest came, comes back to the best customer service you have given to them and the service they've received from all the departments. As the word maintenance suggests, it's maintenance of the property, be it any of the outlets, any of the guest rooms, the kitchen, the ballrooms, the meeting rooms. We have to maintain everything. We maintain everything from the lighting, the air conditioning, to the power sockets. And first thing I do is get a record of all the uh, problems we've had overnight, make sure they've been rectified. If they've not been rectified, why they were not rectified, and I'll send people out to get to them. But sometimes we can't get to them because obviously the guest has got a do not disturb or whatever. What we do have in hotels is 50% reactional uh, defects and 50% planned uh, defects, planned maintenance. But as I say, a guest always comes first, so they've got the problem. We'll, we'll dispatch and get the problems done, sorted out as soon as possible. Percy, how do guests report a problem and get through to maintenance? Uh, in this hotel, we've got a system we call Smart Butler. A guest phones our, our uh, front desk. That front desk puts that job on our Smart Butler system, so it appears as a message in our phone. So they can get hold of you anywhere in the hotel, you know which room, what the problem is? Yeah, as soon as the guest reports a fault, as soon as it goes there, we get it immediately. I need people who work for me to be qualified. I need electricians, I need air conditioning uh, technicians, I need plumbers, 
yeah, people to look after the kitchen or the gas equipment. You need to be qualified and have had a trade. We do do certain uh, on-the-job training for people uh, who are handymen, change light bulbs, uh, help a guest when a guest has a problem, tune in the TV. But we mainly to make sure the hotel works properly with our our ongoing plan maintenance, we need qualified people to rectify major jobs. Things break down regularly. I mean, you look at this hotel, 329 rooms, 1,500 banqueting places. There's lots of things that can break from light bulbs, which regularly go, uh, shower mixes that start leaking, air conditioning. There's things going all the time. I've had situations where our building management system has failed at one o'clock in the morning, the hotel had no water. I've had, which becomes a crisis, not at one o'clock because not a lot of people are using it. But when people start getting up at five o'clock, ready for the full day, that becomes an issue. As an engineer, my scope of the job is clear. However, as hotels are part of a team, if something happens that they need my assistance, I will go. There's times you'll see the front office manager or you'll see the director of operations, they're helping serve plates. If anything comes up, and it, as I said, it's a team, we all need to work to make sure that the, everything heads in the right direction. As I mentioned before, teamwork. If everybody works as a team, everybody's pleasant, the guests will come back.